Humiller Dream Guitars, and today I wanted to show you just a little bit about this song, Blues in D, that I play a lot for some of the samples. It's a really fun piece to play. It's very simple, um, and it's something I learned from Woody Mann, who's a great friend of mine and one of my early teachers. Um, I used to live in New Jersey, and Woody's in New York City, so I would take some lessons from Woody when I could. And I also went to a few uh, different um, music camps that Woody ran back in the day. Um, so this is something that he wrote based on the style of playing from Lonnie Johnson, and it's in drop D tuning. So I'm tuned at 440 here, but in drop D, so just the low string down to D, everything else is standard. And it's a really nice study in the key of D on the whole fingerboard. So you'll, there's three basic sections to the song, and each one uses a few different shapes um, and some scales to connect in, the sort of riffs in between. And it's a really nice way to learn a song, but also learn a lot about playing guitar. So if you, if you play this a few times and pay attention to where your fingers are um, and what chord shapes you're playing out of, um, you can learn a lot in one little tune. So let's give it a go. All right, so as I mentioned, the song basically has three parts. Let's look at part one. And it basically starts out of this shape, which is basically a D6 chord. And all that means is you're putting a B in the D chord. And it's like taking this D chord and then put the high A on top and then putting a B in it. So you can kind of see how I get there, but that's the heart of the song initially. And you just sort of slide into that. And then just a little pinky run there. I'm not going to explain every note, but I'm going to give you the basics so that you can learn this pretty quickly. The bass in the whole song is pretty much 6-4 alternating bass, which is really good practice for that as well. So the first section again is that little D6 chord. to a G7 chord, the bass just going from G to F, and that's a, because we're in drop D, the G's up here now, and at this part here is nothing but a little G7 chord, so we're just playing a G7 chord with a moving bass, then we come back to the D chord, and then the A is just, for just a little run, goes back to the G chord, finishes back on the D chord and lands on a regular D. And that's the end of part one. So real simple, just D, G, and A. Um, it goes back to the four chord to G after the five, so that's a little bit unique. Some blues don't do that, but it kind of gives us a nice feel. All right, in part two, we move up to the fifth fret area, and we're going to play out of this D7 shape, which is just a tiny bit of a D7 chord if you did a D bar and made it a seven, and then just played a bit of it. Right? So the cool thing about fingerstyle guitar is you don't have to play bar chords. Bar chords are way too hard. So I uh, play a lot of these small chords and use your fingers to do the rest. So this one starts on that chord. Then it does this little riff, which is on pairs of strings. Okay, which is just a harmonized scale. And lands on the D chord. All right, so it does that twice. So the D7. This is a little run. You're just up a disga. Then it does it again. For the seven. Really cool. I love that little part of the riff. All right, so that's just using this little D chord here, and then some harmonized scales, and then some runs up from D to D. All right. Now the G chord here is really cool. It drops the bass off for a minute in the song because that can get monotonous, you know, just the constant bass. So it goes to this. Which is all just G. So it's just playing like a G7 chord, a little bit of a G, you know, turned into a seven. So it may look weird because I'm only playing a few strings, but it's just G7. So then a little run. And then it starts to move a little bit. Okay, so just to run up from A. All right, then we end on the same five chord. Same four chord. Back to the beginning. And land on the D. And that wraps up part two. 
All right, so the third section here um, builds up a little bit more and has a little bit more movement, a little bit more of a soloing feel to it, but it's really simple. It's all based out of the D chord. The first part just goes from low A here in the G string up to the high A. Okay, I'll play that again for you, try to make it real slow. close enough and then the second time with that it goes to the, the first part and then a pinch okay back down the D so that's just landing on the D chord again all right then we go to the four chord G this time in this shape okay then a nice big bass bounce back to our starting D6 chord and then the money run in the whole song this really cool high A riff okay which is nothing more than this is just an A chord so it's a D shape moved up to A extend it out and then hit that and then that little shift there for the C sharp and then back to the 5th fret and off and then coming back on the C sharp here. So it's again. And then the up on an A. It's simpler than it looks, takes a little practice. All right, and then back to the four chord we did in the beginning of the song. And then you can end the song a number of ways, but it, I like to do it on this big riff. Or you can end up high. Lots of options. So that's the three parts of the song. So what I suggest you do with this is learn each piece but understand what chords you're playing and, and, and why and then you can start to mix it all up and just you have a, a, a tools for improvisation. You're gonna learn the whole fingerboard for D chords, for G chords, for A chords. So think about it like that and then just try to mix it up and have fun. So you don't have to play it note for note. Um, what you're trying to do is just you know, learn some tools to have fun and improvise and put some more music out in the world. So have fun, y'all.